sound of the wind in the trees. Did you back, bring the pot, fill the fire, boil the lot. Susie, Betty, Mary, Mercy. Now the frogs, drop them in. Now the hearts, tear them up. Now the hair, yes. From Abraham Corey, Thomas Fairclough, Matthew Nurse, Jacob Parker. Yes, Miss Abby, drop it in. Teach you but not who you love. You're gonna have John Proctor. <gasps> His wife gonna die. You're gonna marry him. All you gotta do is drink this blood. Can we go, Miss? Three! You'll have to stay right where you are. What seems to be the trouble, Anuka? Do we have to do this play? Anuka! The competition is in three weeks. We've been rehearsing for months now. Yes, we have to do this play. Why? I don't like it. Thank you, Anuka. We'll bear your eloquent critique in mind when you're holding the prize cup in the assembly hall. Can we please take it from Tichuba's line? I mean it, Miss Alexi. We shouldn't have to do this. I know this scene isn't actually in the play, but it's faithful to Miss' description. I promise you'll love it when you start getting going. I promise. It's a masterpiece. Do you know how many productions of The Crucible there are going on at this minute? Hundreds, if not thousands. St Paul's has won Playfest three years in a row because I always choose classic repertoire and rehearse it to its highest standard. We do not want to lose now. After all, it's Miss Alexi's directorial debut. Honestly, Anuka, you're doing a fantastic job with Abigail. You're really capturing her ruthlessness and manipulation of the other girls. Four years in a row. It will be a record. All right, then. Can we take it from Tichuba's line? All she's got to do is drink this blood. Thank you, Layla. I'm sorry. I can't. say whatever you want about someone. Oh yeah? What about the time you told the entire school that I've got scabies? You did have scabies. Or was it fleas? Yeah, here, wake me up when the bus gets here. I was up till three playing those middle-aged noobs in Arizona. That's you someday, Sky. Oh no, your mouth, Sky. I've saved your arm. Can't. Lost my phone. That's insane, Ruby. You don't even believe in God. Does that matter? Well, it is customary for becoming a priest. Listen, it's a total dos, right? All you have to do is put on a costume and perform a monologue every Sunday. And the best part is that you get to condemn people to hell if they don't do what you say. You can't be a priest, Ruby. You've got porn star's name. Oh, I'd change it to Rebecca. But there aren't any women priests, are there? Oh, great. I'd be the first, then. Hashtag trailblazer. If 
you don't count Madonna at your age. You're winding me up, right? What? From Father Kane's car, it's decent pay. Plus, you get free housing and it's really hard to get fired. So be one then, and leave all us sinners in peace. But that's just it. Father Kane won't even let me serve at the altar. Al falls asleep up there every week. That's okay because he's the future of the church. That is correct, my child. He always gets that little chunk of white right there in his bottom lid. Why do you always get that little chunk? I oh, know, it's like, wipe that away, Mr. Reeves. Can't you feel that? To be fair, he's only housekeeping. Nothing recreational. What's with the green glasses, Layla? You're not reading. Green's way better than grey. I'm making wood a better place. Aren't you supposed to use rose tinted for that? Nah, green overrides all the other colours. It's just one big united kingdom of Shrek. And then give me your hand. I'm not giving you my hand. Use your own hand. Well, how else can I demonstrate? Oh. Hey, Wolf, that's sexy harassment, dude. <laughs> yeah, Wolf, dismount. This one even into acting anyway. Well, it's better than rubbing a bunch of sticks with a bunch of Boy Scouts. Oh, stuff this! Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, 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 what are you doing? Get up! Heloise, that's very irresponsible. You could get seriously injured. Oh, come on, tell drugs keep looking over. Someone might call an ambulance. What? I'm making the bus get here quicker. If you'll rock up to school, the fun arse who won't notice the wait. Wait. Come on. So you're in this play? What's it about? Americans. He means old fashioned Americans, like before Donald the House Trump. Like in the olden days, back in the good times. Same as we say what everyone's insane religious. Like seriously, proper religious. Worse than Mrs. Guernsey. Mrs. Guernsey, who watches Passion of the Christ every Sunday, sobs all the way through it, and eats Maltesers. Yeah, exactly. And the people in this play are worse. Yeah, they sound like a bunch of cowboys to Shakespeare. But you haven't actually told me anything about it. Sound nice to Chris Grace. He plays the lead, John Proctor. Grace plays his husband. Oh, shut up, Scaly. You say anything and get the whole costume covered because of you. See? <laughs> I'll have you know, I'm completely cured. Like, you're a brilliant actor, Popeye. You're only happy when you're hitting something with a stick. Get this. Sky's the hangman, so he doesn't have any lines. Oi, Sky, wake up, dude. You missed the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Go suck a knife. <laughs> Wait, so what's, what's this play actually about? It's about witch hunts, you know, in Salem back in the 1600s. Basically, the girls are evil and the men are good, the end. It isn't right! She speaks. It isn't fair. All the girls are dodgy. Doesn't anyone else think so? What's the matter with you? You're over the parts of them. She's Abigail Williams, the female lead. Luca, it's no matter how you feel, you can't just walk out on a rehearsal like you did the other day. It's less than three weeks to play fest. I know, it's just... Why are they like that? Running round, screeching their heads off, accusing everyone of being a witch. We're not like that. Luca, it's a play. People always do weird stuff in plays. Like that guy that pulls his own eyes out. Yeah, man, don't be such a mood hoover. It's kind of fun. I'm going to talk to Miss Alexi. I don't want to be Abigail anymore. What? Anuka? 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 Anuka, you can't quit the play. You're the one who convinced me to be in this stupid thing in the first place. Trust me, Sam, I'm not quitting. I'm going to ask for a better part. Sadra? So why can't I play John Proctor? <laughs> Anuka, 
this isn't like you. I'd expect this of one of the others, but not you. You know, you've been one of my strongest pupils all year. Articulate, creative. Your performance is being marked, remember? I want you to do well. I promise I'd give everything to the part. Girls play men all the time. Last year, Grace had to play Mr. Peachum in the Three Penny Opera. She even had to stuff her pants with so her, stuff her pants with a sock. Oh, come on, Anuka. It's a distraction. It doesn't serve the play. Why do we have to serve the play? Because that's what you do. The play isn't a panto. It's meant to be a serious commentary about the unchecked power of the government. I know, know, but it's just... John Proctor makes all the big choices and has all the best speeches. If I'm the best actor, why can't I have the best part? St Cuthbert is doing the Master Builder. Churchill Academy is doing Hamlet. We don't want to get pips to the post by them, do we? This is my final word, Anuka. If you're not happy with it, there are lots of girls who'd kill to play Abigail Williams. Dinosaurs, um, baby Jesus, in our carol concert. Is this one going to stand? Haven't decided yet. That bad, huh? Worse. She just wouldn't listen. Oi, oi, what are you making? A Puritan love shack? I thought you were coming back to mine. Still sulking, Anuka. Here, have some monster munch. Clear out all your angst and anything else you got in there. This stuff passes through you like a food bullet. I don't need to calm down. Uh, I think you do. It's the dumbest thing I ever heard. And I've heard some pretty dumb stuff. I sit next to Wolf in psychology. <laughs> How can you say that? This play makes up girls as total, irrational, hysterical, screeching demons. It's 2020. You can't just do it straight. You have to put some sort of modern spin on it. I don't know about the play, but Miss Alexia was pretty clear on what you could spin on. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, back off, Sky. He does have a point. She was never going to say yes to such a radical idea. It isn't a radical idea. That's the point, Sam. Come on, not you as well. Look, Nuka, I'm on your side, 100%. Though I'm not sure when you were going to tell me you'd nicked him apart. Yeah, sorry. I didn't think you'd mind. I don't. I'm just surprised you didn't ask. So, how are we going to fight this? We've got to question everything they're making us do. There's no point. They kick you out of the school before they mess with the play first. It's sacred. If we win, I might get into Bournemouth. And they want extracurriculars. And I don't think binge watching The Walking Dead and the ability to down a six pack of Red Bull in under four minutes really counts. <laughs> yeah, sorry mate. Mum says one wrong move from I have to go live with my dad. She expects me to be a doctor and buy a Nissan Qashqai. I mean, my career goal is to become a hikikomori. That's one of those people who stay in their room all day and play video games, and possibly on a blow-up on in shadow. <laughs> yeah, man, you make a good one. Look, you can't fight them on your own, but what if we go back to Miss Alexi and I say, I want to play Abigail Williams? <laughs> it looked like the school's trying to be all experimental or say something. They'd hate the idea. Uh, I'm not sure they would. I'm always liking my farts from a Bunsen burner in chemistry and nobody objects to that. <laughs> really? Yeah, of course. Come on. This school's like a million years old. Some of the teachers actually met Jesus. Yeah, throw a pierce his side. <laughs> the school motto is serving society through blind adherence to convention. <laughs> it's not. Is it? Might as well be. Pull this and you have the whole history of the school against you. Maybe. But I've got an idea. Gather the boys and meet me in the drama classroom tomorrow lunchtime. I'll get the girls. Like you said, we've got to fight this together. 
and I think I know exactly how to tip the odds back in our favour. Okay, but what Trust me? 100%. Then, Bill and I just up and Mrs. goes down on our knees to check. And I go, what's the big deal, sir? And he goes, get this. You don't want to give the male teachers the wrong idea. Oh. So now, every time I put on a skirt, I have to picture some male teacher getting the wrong idea. I wonder if they prefer to get the wrong idea in the shower or in the drive-in. Guys, we shouldn't be being here. They might think we're trying to steal something. This old junk. Oh, girls, stop that dancing at once before I get a chubby. <laughs> <laughs> now for the Paris, or I'll stab you. With this! Oh, hello, weird sword. On guard. On guard. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my mum I loved her. <laughs> Wait, look at all these 90s. Wait, what are they called? Baby dolls? Guys. Costumes from Cabaret and the corsets for the whores in Les Mis the year before. They're keeping hot pants for the whores in Miss Saigon. I want to suck your blood. Hey, you're Transylvanian for real, aren't you? I'm not Dracula. There's more to Transylvanian than Vlad the Impaler. Okay, guys. Luca, please, indoor voices. <laughs> Come with me to talk to Miss Alexi. We should all have male parts, not just me. Think about it. You could be Giles Corey, and you could be Reverend Paris. 